Chadwick Boseman, famous actor, classic beloved movie star, passed away several days ago from colon cancer. And we know how the virtue signaling goes, how everyone has to say RIP to the famous celebrity without addressing reality or actually caring Half of them probably not even knowing who he was before this happened, just making themselves feel better by circle jerking with each other. The deception is very basic. You know, we know from modern conventional wisdom, what has been beaten into our heads for dozens of years now, that red meat causes colon cancer. Well, that's not exactly the truth. And I go over that in depth in my Meat Myths debunked video. So the truth at face value is that there is no proof that meat causes this illness. So a bunch of articles talking about Chadwick have mentioned colon cancer, how to prevent it, avoiding meat being a major talking point. But according to other sources, Chadwick has been vegan for several years now. And it's interesting how none of the recent articles this week about his death mentioned his vegan diet. Chadwick Boseman's death at just 43 years old due to a cancer diagnosis he kept private is highlighting a risk many people may not know about. We're finding it more often in younger people. It used to be a disease of 60, 70 year old people. Dr. Eric Askenazi, a colorectal surgeon with UT Physicians and Memorial Hermann, says he's seen firsthand how colon cancer diagnoses shock people in the prime of their life. Which is devastating actually when you have 38 year olds or 44 year olds come into your office um, with young kids that have that have stage, you know, anywhere between one and four colon cancers or rectal cancer. It's really bad. Askenazi says these types of cancers are dangerous because often symptoms don't develop until the disease is already in advanced stages. He says there are many risk factors, including having a close relative who's had the disease, but anyone can get it. Well, good night, boy. Even a superhero. This type of disease is like, hey, you're a human being, I'm going for you. While there are promising treatments, Askenazi emphasizes the best shot we have is early detection. Well, obviously, the you know, maintaining appropriate weight, decreasing the number of red meats in your diet. But again, these these relative risk factors aren't that powerful to do that. The best thing you can do is get yourself screened. Pay close attention, boys. That doctor actually snuck in the relative risk factors aren't enough to do that. So right after he says to reduce meat consumption, he admitted that the studies linking colon cancer to red meat don't have a high enough correlation, AKA their nonsense. The goal of modern media is to deceive us, but these evil lunatics in charge still need to abide by some type of natural law. Therefore, they revealed the truth by using doublespeak. Unfortunately, that truth is practically whispered after a tirade of nonsense, but if you pay attention, you quickly see what's going on. Obviously, maintaining an appropriate weight, decreasing the number of red meats in your diet, but again, these relative risk factors aren't that powerful. They go on and on, attempting to deceive you for nearly two minutes, then slide in the truth for a few mere seconds. By the time that truth comes along, the average person is in such a reactive, fear-driven state that no rational thought remains. All logic goes out the window. And the sheeple, most of America, most of the world, is stuck in this hyper-negative mindset where they are only looking for the negative. And if the truth, if the positive is there, they simply ignore it at this point. Uh, and on top of this, there's so many contradictions uh, from that logical perspective especially vegans getting colon cancer. Bozeman, AKA Black Panther, recently described himself as mostly vegan to the fashion magazine. He even told the publication that his new fitness regime and vegan lifestyle had given him maybe the handsomest years of his life. <laughs> handsomest years of his life, what? to look handsome in his casket? Just three months earlier, fans of Bozeman expressed their concern after the actor appeared to have lost weight in a video he posted to Instagram. They had this poor guy shilling for the New World Order agenda while he was on his deathbed, a decaying vegan corpse ready to be bundled into the grave like the bag of bones he is. Makes you think, that some of these actors are just brainwashed pawns, and that word actor means a lot in this context. Perhaps they aren't all in on it. You know, higher level players might be deeper in, but most of them could just be minions. Then you ask yourself, how can so many people be part of this deception, especially these authority figures, these people we entrust 
our lives with. Oncologists don't yet know what's causing the rising number of cases among young people, but there are several theories. We can't really be in unwanted clothes, Azad said. There could be the diet changes, obesity, increased prevalence of diabetes. All of these things are associated with colorectal cancer. High consumption of processed meat and alcohol, low levels of physical activity, and fiber consumption and cigarette smoking are also known risk factors, researchers said. It's not surprising that the timing of the obesity epidemic parallels the rise in colorectal cancer because many behaviors thought to drive weight gain, such as unhealthy dietary patterns and sedentary lifestyles, independently increase colorectal cancer risk. Researchers said in the 2017 study, Again, remember the deception. They're literally telling you oncologists don't know what's going on. They have no clue, but then they move on to their theories. The intelligent person would have stopped reading already. You know, it's like hiring a builder to make a house for you, and the guy says up front, Well, I've never built a house before, but let's get started. <laughs> uh, but since the sheep need to be guided themselves, they will take whatever answer at face value. And every time we talk about the sheeple and the deception, it really amazes me how perfect of a word sheep is. Because regardless of the scenario, they're always looking to be guided into what the majority of people are doing. They blame processed meat, alcohol, cigarettes, as well as a lack of fiber and exercise. But if anything, those factors were present before the obesity epidemic. You know, 40, 50 years ago, more people smoked cigarettes, they ate more red meat, they certainly drank more martinis. It takes an objective view to understand what the real changes in our lifestyle have been. One main factor being the pollutants in our food and water, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, insecticides, you know, all this estrogenic crap in conventional feedlot meat, dairy, eggs, especially plants, glyphosate-laden grains. The other dietary factor is the use of poisonous vegetable seed oils, especially soybean oil, and just about every processed food. And of course, we can't forget the electromagnetic frequencies that destroy our gut bacteria and cause massive amounts of oxidative stress. And also make some people mentally ill enough to attach a lawnmower to their motorcycle. By removing meat from your diet and increasing the amount of plant foods, you are making colon cancer far worse. The animal foods contain the nutrients, building blocks that your body needs to heal all tissue, especially the digestive system. Consuming only plant foods as a vegan that contain anti-nutrients and more dangerously larger amounts of agrochemicals, those crops that are sprayed, is a quick way to destroy your gut, resulting in various bowel diseases. You know, imagine all of that fermented fiber slop laden with chemicals rotting in your colon, scratching the walls with all that plant matter. Some vegetable seed oils and phytoestrogens mixed in. From that logical perspective of what you're physically putting in your body on a vegan diet, it makes complete sense how a vegan diet is the worst thing possible for your gut. And across all planes of dietary advice, especially on YouTube, that are run by these groups of people that are simply here to deceive you, they won't talk about the pollutants in our food supply because it compromises products they are trying to sell, whether it's a vegan protein powder or collagen powder. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully this gives people some insight to the deception. This isn't specifically supposed to focus on vegan versus carnivore versus XYZ. The point is there are a bunch of people in control that are using many, many actors and authority figures to guide us in certain directions. Uh, so if you guys want to support me, you know how to do so down in the description. Um, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.